Well, the prestigious Earthshot Prize was launched two years ago by Britain's Prince William as an effort to find solutions for climate change. It's a global competition awarding winners in five categories. Uh, they're to protect and restore nature, clean our air, revive our oceans, build a waste-free world, and fix our climate. Well, among the finalists in the Fix Our Climate category this year is Lonza Tech, an Illinois-based company recognized for its technology capturing carbon emissions to turn them into useful products like sustainable fuels, packaging, and even cosmetics. Cheddar News' Hena Jova spoke with Jennifer Holgram as CEO of Lonza Tech about how its technology could help the world curb carbon emissions. Take a look. What we do is we take pollution, carbon pollution, all types of pollution like waste gases at an industrial site or solid waste like trash or agriculture residues. And we have a bacteria that converts them to the products we use every day. So it goes to ethanol and we take that ethanol, we make polyester for dresses, polyethylene for bottles. Uh, Cody uses our ethanol in their perfumes, and we also make sustainable aviation fuel. So basically from trash to products. Your company was founded in 2005. It's raised over $800 million to date. You have built three commercial scale gas fermentation plants that converts wastes, carbon into everyday products. How much carbon were these plants able to offset, Jennifer? And are there any plans to build new plants? Absolutely. So these plants are offsetting, um, they're making 50 million gallons of ethanol, offset 200,000 tons of CO2. We're building another six plants across the world, and we are designing and engineering eight additional plants. So we're building a very large pipeline, a very large group of plants. Lanzatech is among the 15 finalists for the Earthshot Prize of 2022. What does it mean for you to be on the short list and possibly get recognized with this huge award? Uh, it's, it's massive. You know, for us, when you do something this different, sometimes it's really hard to just even explain what it is that you do and to have it make sense. And when you see something like a sustainability award with this much stature, you know, say, hey, look at these people, look at what they're doing. This is really interesting and it's important. It brings visibility to what we're doing. And, and for us, that's important. You are at the major UN climate conference, COP27, right now in Egypt. What capacity are you participating in these talks? I, I'm just an observer, and we're here to, to really talk about what it takes to scale. I think there's two gaps in, in how we think about climate change. One is an understanding of the massive change that needs to happen for us to be able to bend the carbon curve. The world uses 100 million barrels of petroleum equivalent every single day. Everything we use in our lives is, is made from fossil carbon. So the first thing we need to understand is just how big the scale of the transformation has to be and how much we have to do in a short period. And then the second part of the equation is to try to explain that for companies like ours that have disruptive technologies, what it takes, you mentioned how much money, but also how much time it takes to get to scale and to deploy in a way that is significant. And so how do we accelerate that? We can't wait 30 years like we did for solar to get to where we see solar everywhere and contributing. And it's the same thing with new technologies that will bend the carbon curve. We need to really go faster. And that means we need to finance differently. We need to scale differently. And so that's what I'm here to explain is what it takes to be successful at scaling brand new technologies and to brainstorm and discuss, uh, for example, with the Sustainable Markets Initiative that is sponsored by uh, King Charles, you know, how do you do this? How do we get there from here? Jennifer, how do you convince governments and companies that lands attack can help them meet climate goals? <laughs> One discussion at a time. You kiss a lot of frogs and, and you just keep going one step at a time. And <laughs> eventually, you, you know, you get the guys who go, oh, yeah, that makes a massive amount of sense. Um, and that you get the ahas and, and you keep going. You have announced earlier this year that you plan to go public via SPAC deal. We've been seeing that a lot. Any timeline you can share with us there? We're on a fast path right now. So we are just finishing our, our paperwork, et cetera. And um, 
So we should be out soonish, I hope. And what are the future plans for Lanza Tech moving forward, Jennifer? More than anything else, what we want to do is deploy. Just deploy, deploy, deploy. We we want to really deploy, especially aviation fuel uh, and chemicals. You know, making chemicals accessible to all. I I said we were able to make things like polyester with our partners. Zara uses our polyester in their dresses now, and um, we we want a way to get. Um, um, low carbon sustainable solutions to everybody so that low carbon solutions aren't just for the rich. It's not a choice that only the rich can make. We want solutions that are accessible, that um, are available, and we want to make sure that everybody has the ability to reduce their carbon footprint. Major thanks to Jennifer Holgram, CEO of Lenza Tech, uh, joining us all the way from Egypt. Incredible.